Welcome to the unboxing of the Strixhaven Commander decks. Uh, this is the Quantum Quandrix. It is the green blue. Not Simic. So we're going to see if Quandrix is as uh, powered up as Simic is. So open it up. It's got the little rip bottom. Uh, there's a cardboard cutout thing here. Uh, it's got. Uh, these little Planeswalker tokens, there's a few here, a divider, but the printed image of the commander is just printed on the box. That's not perfed. Um, have a deck box that holds 100 sleeve cards. It, it is a thin little paperboard. Uh, got the filler in there. A learn to play commander and a themed life wheel so and then we have the actual deck so let's open it up and see what's in it and see uh i'm buying these because you know there's new commander cards in in there new legends and there's the only way to get them so and i use all of the what i call the guts of the deck anyway in other decks so we will see We have our face commander is Edrickson Nev, Twin Casters. So for four mana, we have a 2-2. Two, two. It's Ward 2. <coughs> I'm glad this explains Ward because some of the other cards just have Ward and the number. When this creature becomes the target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls, counter it unless that player pays 2. Evidently, Hexproof was proving problematic in some formats. So Ward... Is kind of uh, powered down hexproof, you know. It's hexproof if they can't pay the two. Ward is always followed by a number. So well, so far I'm sure, as iterations go, it might have Ward do a thing. But anyway, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of these tokens are created instead. Oh my gosh, that seems crazy powerful. Uh, the enchantments that do that are rare and expensive. <laughs> the secondary commander is Essex Fractal Bloom. Six mana, four, four, flying. The first time you would create one or more tokens during each of your turns, you may instead choose a creature other than this and create that many tokens that are a copy of that creature. One or more tokens. So if we... If we make like three Thopters, then we can, oh, you know those like the the 2-2 two, two flower that comes into play with two Thopters? You can have those Thopters be the 2-2 two, two flower. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Then there are uh, a few cards from Strixhaven proper that they put in there. Biomathematician, that's a mouthful. We have the Eureka Moment. We've all had those. Uh, draw two cards. You may put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. Okay, so it's in between. Okay. It's in between. The Golden Ratio. Draw a card for each different power among creatures you control. Huh. Zero, one, two, three. Hmm. Kind of neat. Quandrix Cultivator. We gotta read Zimone, because that's a legendary creature. Two mana, one, two human. One tap. Make a land drop. Tapped. Four, tap, draw a card. If you control eight or more lands, draw two cards. This is pretty good. So Quandrix Landfall? That's probably how I'll build this one. Uh, Quandrix Campus. Study Hall. <clears throat> now we get into a few reprints. Rapid Hybridization, which is a great card. Whoa. Beast Within. Kodama's Reach. Crows and Grip. We're on a roll here. Those are amazing. Uh, Nissa's Expedition. Rapid Growth. Coiling Oracle. Incubation and Incon Incon Incongruity. I'll get it out. <laughs> Plax Caster Frogling. 
Primal Empathy, Trigon Predator, Arcane Signet, Simic Signet, Soul Ring, Blighted Woodland, Command Tower, Latoar Reborn, Lonely Sandbar, Myriad Landscape, Nojin, the Heart of Progress, Opal Palace, <clears throat> and then we have some more new cards, the Commander's Insight. Target player draws X cards plus an additional card for each time they've cast a Commander from the Command Zone this game. Nice. Really good in Partner Commander since you're, you're casting two different Commanders, so that's uh, Curiosity Crafter. You have no max hand size. Whenever a creature token you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Wow, that's really good. Uh, Dika, Fractal Theorist, Legendary Creature, 5 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Magecraft, create a Fractal, put X counters on it, where X is that spell's mana value. Okay. And of course, target creature token can't be blocked this turn. Perplexing test. We've all had those. Uh, instant, five mana. Oh, wow. Bounce all tokens or bounce all non-token creatures. Replication technique. Demonstrate. Uh, this is the first card with demonstrate I've seen. When you cast the spell, you may copy it. If you do, choose an opponent to also copy it. <coughs> Create a token that's a copy of target permanent you control. If you do choose an opponent to also copy it. So I I play this, I get two copies of something, and I pick another player to copy something of theirs. Hmm, okay. Spawning Kraken. Theoretical duplication. Fractal harness. That's pretty neat looking. Guardian augmenter. Paradox zone. Ruxa, let's read Ruxa. Legendary Bear Druid, four mana, four, four. Square stats, okay. When Ruxa enters the battlefield or attacks, return target creature card with no abilities from your graveyard to your hand. Creatures with no abilities you control get one, one. Oh, that's cool. You may have creatures with no abilities have super trample. Yeah, sign their damage like they weren't blocked. That's cool. So we're doing, and I love the fact that it's a bear. <laughs> so <clears throat> there's gonna be this and uh Miranda Petroglyphs, probably uh Gaia's Anthem, things like that, and just a bunch of vanilla creatures. Okay. That'll be fun. Uh sequence engine. Oversimplify. Geometric Nexus. <clears throat> Back to some reprints. Desolation Twin. There's a good co a good token. <laughs> Champion of Wits. Crafty Cut Purse. Curse of the Swine. Reef Worm. Whoa, Nelly, that's Rod of Replication. It's a good card. Arashi, Sky Sunder. Missouri's Predation. Forgotten Ancient. Garrick, Primal Hunter. Hornet Nest. Hornet Queen. Hydra Broodmaster. Incubation Druid. Boy, there's a buddy of mine that needs this deck. This is a lot of cards he plays with. Kazandu Tuskcaller. Managorge Hydra. Rampaging Baloths. Ooh, Return of the Wild Speaker is a great card. Shamanic Revelation. Terastodon. It's hard for me to say the proper name for that. Uh, may watch too much CCO. <laughs> Biomass Mutation. Cassetto, Aceto Archmage. Master Biomancer. That's cool. Spitting Image. The other Tintin Eldrazi Token Maker. Idol of Oblivion. We have an Exotic Orchard. Lumbering Falls. I wonder why there's... Oh, well, it's just in a different order. Okay. 
Mosswort Bridge, Orin Reef the Vastwood, Temple of Mystery. The Yavamaya Coast is what I was looking for, because in the other decks, the Pain Land was right up front. Um, Rogue's Passage. Simic Growth Chamber. Temple of the False God. Tranquil Thicket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Strixhaven Forest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Strixhaven Islands. And then this card which is the replacement for the oversized oh, the commanders it is crazy thick uh if you look there is the thickness of a normal card as opposed to this uh i mean it's it's pretty uh pretty stout and it's just of the face commander so i'm sure that'll be a thing at some point in time um we have some tokens, three copy on one side, fractal on the others, uh, two beasts with worm, whales on the back, a worm kraken, an insect with a beast on the back, hydra, frog lizard, and of course that 1010 Eldrazi. And the card. And that is it for uh, the Quandrix deck, the blue-green. Uh, trying our best not to use the actual um, uh, the name of the uh, Ravnica Guild because they've, they've done a pretty good job about trying to differentiate in between the Ravnica Guilds and the Strixhaven Houses. So that is it. Um, if you're looking for the other decks, uh, check out, out the channel, probably down there somewhere. And uh, that's where all of them are. So thank you for watching. And uh, I got cards to sort. <laughs> we'll see you next time.